Hey there, Jim Duncan with RealCentralVA.com and Nest Realty here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, got a, uh, an email and a, a tweet from a client of mine the other day, and it reads, um, a house we liked wouldn't accept contingency. We moved on, found better house, moved in today. They're still in market, dropped price again. You, you really can't sum up what a seller needs to recognize any better than that. Uh, when a seller gets an offer, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not quite any offer except, but any offer you need to have a serious consideration of. Um, and with my client's permission, uh, I can disclose that we made an offer contingent on the sale of their house, uh, which, you know, very marketable. Another market had great information from their realtor uh, saying that it was, it was marketable. Uh, and the sellers at the time were not willing or able uh, to take that risk. Uh, even with a kickout clause, uh, so um, you know, my guys moved on. The house has dropped its price again. This time for the third time since it came on the market. This time, uh, and it was a house that my clients, you know, they could have, it, it would have worked, but ultimately the house that, that they bought and purchased and purchased uh, is much better for them. They're much happier. But it, when you look at the situation of, you know, great clients, great everything just with the house to sell, as many people are in this market, not taking that contingency is going to cost these sellers tens and tens of thousands of dollars if they're able to sell. So if you're selling, be aware. The, the first offer most often is going to be the best offer. From a buyer's standpoint, don't be afraid of making a, a good offer with a home sale contingency in place, as long as it's backed up and supported by the good professionals representing you. Uh, any questions, Jim Duncan, RealCentralVA.com, 434-242-7140.